Hello, my name is Wilfredo Marin, a Senior Product Application Specialist with Thermo Fisher Scientific. My focus is biobanking and cryopreservation, which helps support the LN2 cryogenic family of products across sample preparation, storage, and transport. In this video, I'd like to briefly present the connectivity options for the new Thermo Fisher Scientific Cryomed Controlled Rate Freezer with Open Platform Communication Unified Architecture, or OPC UA. The Cryomed with OPC UA now has integrated functionality to help you get up and running your custom or preset profile faster while staying compliant. As you navigate regulatory audits, the connectivity features help to stay on schedule in taking your cell therapy from discovery to clinical research and commercial manufacturing. I'll be going over the three methods of connecting the new Cryomed with OPC UA, but first I'll share a bit more about the new touchscreen user interface that meets 21 CFR Part 11 regulations. This model now provides a sleek, new, and intuitive 7-inch control panel at the front of the unit. The home screen has four key elements or panes starting with navigation icons on the left. The top pane displays login, date, time, operational mode, connectivity detail, and an alarm indicator. The middle pane will display chamber and sample temperatures along with previous run detail. And the bottom pane contains the run last, warming mode, and onboard help buttons. Some of the convenient features of the UI include the ability to create three levels of usability with roles for an admin, user one, or user two. It also comes with six preset freezing profiles based on sample type and volume with room to include up to 14 more custom profiles. Most importantly, your lab or manufacturing facility can now export compliant event and run logs using the onboard USB. The Device Link Wi-Fi system is a built-in capability of your laboratory equipment that enables a Wi-Fi-based connection to transmit equipment data. To utilize the Device Link Wi-Fi for the Cryomed, begin by installing the included dongle onto the top of the unit. The following two requirements will help you maximize the controlled rate freezer connectivity via Wi-Fi. First, Confirm that your network security parameters are acceptable for the Wi-Fi specifications in Table 3 of the manual. Second, follow the instructions to create a Thermo Fisher Connect account to then link the unit along with others into Instrument Connect. As an additional option, you can download the Instrument Connect mobile or tablet applications from the App Store or Play Store. Instrument Connect web and mobile application is a cloud-based platform enabling real-time monitoring of the data transmitted via the connected device. Now continue by returning to the Cryomed UI and use the settings icon on the left side menu to navigate to the connectivity screen. Set up your wireless network and connect Instrument Connect. You will now be able to monitor this unit and other compatible pieces of Thermo Fisher equipment remotely. The information consists of sample and chamber temps, profile run steps, comparing completed runs, and printing out a report. But remember, if your network password expires or changes, you will need to update this information in the controlled rate freezer before it connects again automatically. The Cryomed controlled rate freezer also includes the PC interface companion software. The PC-based software enables a user to create and download freezer profiles, the software allows users to remotely initiate a profile run, monitor the run progress, detects and responds to error conditions, and it also enables users to print a report summary of the run data. Start by confirming the minimum requirements for the software pertaining to operating system, memory, disk space, and a USB port. Connect a dedicated PC using the included RS-232 extension cable with a USB to serial adapter. Install PC Interface version 3.3 with the accompanying Java 1.8 build provided to you in the packing list. Or you can go directly to the Cryomed product page on thermofisher.com to download a zip file for installation. Once you verify the COM port with the unit turned on, you can create a username and password using the requirements for both, allowing full access to the software features. 
Lastly, the Cryomed with OPC UA integration enables remote unit communication by a distributed control system, or DLC. This machine-to-machine -machine communication protocol is ideal for industrial automation. This means that it can then read nodes built into the firmware providing specific values and details from the controlled rate freezer to create contextualized information, helping make faster business decisions in the cell and gene therapy facility setting. Therefore, the Cryomed with OPC UA can be easily deployed to enhance efficiency of your process. For laboratories, a real advantage applies when looking to scale for production requiring GMP. It can turn a very manual method into closely documented automatic outputs between multiple machines as it orchestrates data. Please refer to Table 18 in Appendix C for additional information regarding the OPC UA server node list. To use the newest Open Platform Communications Unified Architecture functionality, return to the Connectivity button and enable the OPC UA interface. You will need to disable Wi-Fi in order to continue using the Cryomed as an OPC UA server. You will also need to plug the registered jack or RJ45 connector and cable into the port on the back of the unit to support an Ethernet IP protocol. To enable the OPC UA server, move the server enabled toggle to the active position and press the save button. Once the server is enabled, the endpoint URL will display the address of the OPC UA server. This endpoint can be connected to an external OPC UA client on the same physical network. Wireless connections to this endpoint are not supported.